In the last part, we set up our project, created the RTS player pawn and controller, configured the enhanced input system, and verified everything with a test input. Now, we'll start building camera movement for our RTS player. First, go to the input folder, then open the actions folder. Right click, go to the input section, and create a new input action asset. Name this one move action. Open move action and set the value type to axis 2D, which uses a vector 2D value. This setup will let us handle both forward and right movement with a single input action. Now let's set up our movement key bindings. Open your input mapping context asset first, delete the old test action binding. Add a new mapping and set it to move action. We're going to use the WASD keys for camera movement. Add four key bindings, W, S, A, and D. Start with W for the modifier, add swizzle input axis values. Do the same for S, A, and D. Each key gets a swizzle input axis values modifier. For S, add a second modifier and set it to negate. This will give us the negative Y direction for moving backwards. For A, add a negate modifier as well so it handles the negative X direction for moving left. Now open the swizzle input axis values modifier on W and S only and change the order from YXZ to XZY. This mapping will let us move the camera with WASD in the correct directions and everything is ready to implement inside our player pawn. Save your changes. Before we set up movement, let's fix a mistake from the previous part. In BP RTS player, select the spring arm component. Previously we set the rotation to 0, minus 50 and 45. That was incorrect. Change the rotation to 180, minus 105 and 180. Next, with BPRTS player self-selected, click Add and search for floating pawn movement. Add this component to your blueprint. Without it, our pawn won't be able to move. Now we're ready to go to the event graph and set up the movement logic. Now let's set up the movement logic for our RTS camera. First, remove the old test action event we used for testing. Right-click in the event graph, search for move action, and add the enhanced input action move action event. Expand the node, then drag off the action value pin and add a break vector 2D node. This splits the input into X and Y values which we'll use for movement. Next, right click and add get actor forward vector and get actor right vector nodes. We'll use these to determine the direction of movement based on the pawn's orientation. Now right click and search for add movement input, add two of these nodes. Connect the output of get actor forward vector to the world direction input of the first add movement input node. Connect the output of get actor right vector to the world direction input of the second add movement input node. Wire the x value from break vector 2D into the scale value input on the first add movement input node for forward and backward movement. Wire the y value into the scale value input on the second add movement input node for right and left movement. That's all you need to set up smooth WASD movement for your RTS camera pawn using the new enhanced input system. It's much cleaner and easier than using the old deprecated input setup. Now open the content drawer and double click to open our main map level. Hit play and test out the controls. You should be able to move the camera smoothly in all four directions using the WASD keys. If everything's set up right, you'll notice the camera movement feels clean and responsive, just like a true RTS setup. That's the movement system fully working with the enhanced input system in Unreal Engine 5. If this series is helping you, subscribing supports the channel and helps me make more in-depth tutorials. In the next video, we'll dive into adding zoom and rotation to the camera, making the system even more flexible for RTS gameplay. See you in part 3.